How did this deck top? As I've been repeating this month, Yu-Gi-Oh's in a pretty rough state. Snake Eyes and Fire King Snake Eyes seem to be so much more powerful than anything else that it's hard for a non-fire deck to win so much as a local, which is why it was so incredible that one of the top eight decks in Manaus this weekend was Cosmo. And if you thought a 2016 archetype cleaning house eight years later was surprising, wait till we look at the list. Hand Destruction? A Gren Maju package? A 1-1 split between Mirror Force and Storming Mirror Force? Egyptian God Slime? Oh my God. So before you start buying out Necroface, let me clear some things up. Not every regional outside the US is well attended, especially in locations that have historically had trouble with product distribution. This event had a whopping 38 players for a six round tournament. That said, this duelist's run was still incredible. According to his friends, he showed up late to the event, eating a first round loss, and then won five straight games against Sprite, Two Cash, Flu, and Dino without a side deck. What a hero. I hope the Mirror Force came up. If you've seen this list online, you might be asking yourself, 